Okay, I get a lot of questions about how to install the capacitor for the XL100 made by TVS, made in India. The capacitor basically takes the place of a battery. I just want to show you this is the location. If you're looking for a way to put the capacitor, this is your kickstart. I already took the bolts out, so it should pop right out. And you can see there's the capacitor installed and uh, it's a 50 volt 4.7 I mean uh, 4700 picofarad capacitor um, and without having to tear it all apart if you look in the back there's uh, coming into this thing there's an orange wire and there's a yellow wire and there's a black wire kind of hard to see I didn't want to pull this thing all apart but I'm trying to move it out of the way maybe you can see it back here there's a, a yellow wire a black white wire and an orange wire you want to take the orange wire and the black wire coming into this plug right here into the end of this plug And then the yellow wire, yellow wire, you just leave it alone. Don't do anything with it. Just leave the yellow wire alone. Now I, I put the capacitor in here. I added the capacitor here to this side of the plug. Then up on this side of the plug, I mounted the red and black wire, which goes up. You can see the red and black wire heading up towards the headlight ran it the full length, the full length going up towards the headlight. The capacitor is connected in parallel. The two wires going up to the headlight are running parallel. So you're just jumping two wires. One orange for positive, one black white for negative. I already the screws out of the headlight so I can show you what's going on inside the headlight. I added two capacitors, one down below, one up above. There's the light bar that I installed uh, down below. It's turned pink because of the sun, because in the Philippines here there's a lot of UV, so everything that's red turns pink eventually. Uh, also, I just want to stop. If you notice inside, I have a halogen bulb uh, replacing the original stock headlight bulb. Uh, much brighter. That's yeah, an easy, quick mod. Cheap money. This one I already started to... Okay. So here's the rat's nest for the inside. If you look inside here, here's the capacitor another capacitor same as the one down below and you can see if I get this thing to adjust it's 50 volts 4700 picofarads it is in line parallel you see red to red and then black to black and then my switches uh, one side going to the these aftermarket flashing lights and the other the other side of the switch going to the uh, light bar here you can see I'm running two separate switches <laughs> so the whole purpose of this is to avoid having to install a battery the motorcycle doesn't know the difference between either or, so it'll run just fine. Hopefully that helps. Just remember to install your capacitor parallel. Um, you can add a capacitor up here, add a capacitor down there. Any, anywhere is in that length of wire, it doesn't matter. Um, you can stack them. Uh, uh, I added a second capacitor because I added these other lights and I wanted to make sure I had plenty of juice to run everything. Hopefully that helps.